So, who makes the better mixed grill? Is it Harvester or is it Chef and Brewer? Well today, I'm going to find out because I'm going to be trying them both to see who's best. So let's start first with Harvester. So the Harvester I'm going to is one that I've been to before when I tried their breakfast, which I quite enjoyed. So why not come back and try out their mixed grill? Let's head in. It's pretty close to Halloween when filming this, so they do have some decorations up for that. But the inside is a modern looking and cosy place to be, with the exposed brickwork and light green colour scheme. The menu here is massive. In fact, I think it can give Weatherspoons a run for their money. I mean, look how big it is. There's probably the same, if not more options available. The one I'm going for is the standard mixed grill, right there. Plus the usual pot of tea. And I do quite like the little bottle the milk comes in too. So let's make our tea and get ready for this feast. I don't think I've brewed the tea for long enough, so I had to take the tea bag out of the pot and give it a little longer. One thing I didn't expect was to have access to a salad bar, included in the price of the meal. And it's all you can eat too, so I thought I may as well try it out if it's included. But I didn't want to get too much because it fills me up, so I only got a tiny bit of everything. I think it's a great offering to include this in the price of the meal as you get extra food even though it's just salad it still counts right so here is the harvester mixed grill and it's a well presented plate of food there's quite a few items on here so let's have a closer look at what you get you get a grilled tomato a mushroom pot of peas, a slice of black pudding, a sausage, an egg, a pot of chips, some gammon, a rump steak, a quarter of a rotisserie chicken and some onion rings. Let's dig in. I'm going to start off with the chips. It's a pretty standard looking variety. It's got a good golden colour to it. Let's try them out. Decent chips. There's a slight crisp to the outside. They're already salted so you get a bit of that flavour too. The inside is fluffy and has a nice potato flavour. They're pretty good chips. Let's move on to the onion rings. They're one of my favourite things to eat so I'm looking forward to trying them. You only get two in a portion which is a bit disappointing. But let's try them out. Very nice. The outside is crispy and crunchy. It's more of a heavier batter rather than a light and airy one, but still good. The onion on the inside still has a bit of a bite to it, so you get a soft crunch when eating. It's a nice onion ring. I'm going to move on to the fried egg. The yolk is runny, which is what you want as it's perfect for dipping things in. Speaking of which, I've got a chip right here and I'm going to mop up all of that lovely egg yolk with it. Let's eat. Delicious. The yolk is creamy and when combined with the fried chip, it's fantastic. Okay, I think it's time to try out the meats. I'm going to start off with the sausage. You have grill marks going all the way along it. It looks like it's been cooked well. Let's give it a try. Pretty good. The outside has a slight snap when you bite into it. You get the charring flavour from the grill. The inside has a meaty, salty and herby flavour. The only thing that can be improved is that it's a little on the drier side. So it could be a little bit more juicy. Let's move on to the rotisserie chicken. Now this is a little unusual as you normally get a chicken breast. 
so having a whole quarter of a chicken is different. I'm not complaining though, as it looks amazing. The colour on the outside is perfect. I've cut off a big piece of chicken breast with that great looking skin. The only thing left to do is eat it. Incredible! There's so much flavour in that skin. It's slightly crisp, a bit salty and has a great taste of being flame cooked. The chicken is not dry either, which can sometimes be the case. It's actually moist and succulent with a good chicken flavour. This is a lot better than I expected. Right, let's move on to the gammon. It's a good thick piece of it you get here. Again, you can see the lovely grill marks on it. This piece that I've cut off has a bit of egg yolk on it still. I can't wait to try it, so let's do it. Delicious. It's got a good meaty chew and a flame grill taste. It's only slightly salty, so on the milder tasting side of gammons out there, but I like it. Next up, we have the black pudding. Again, I would say this is a little unusual, as the mixed grills I've had recently have not had black pudding on them. On this one, you get a thick slice of it. Let's try it. Pretty good. The outside is soft with a bit of a chew from the outer casing. Maybe a bit too much for my liking. I prefer it a little softer. The inside is crumbly with an earthy, meaty, irony taste. It's not bad. Okay, I think it's time for the rump steak. I asked for mine to be medium, which I would say it is. You can see it's still pink in the middle. I've cut off a big piece of it here. Let's give it a try and see what it's like. Very nice. You get a good grill flavour from the outside. It has a great bite and chew to it. It's soft and juicy on the inside, full of beefy flavour. It's a great piece of steak. You do get a couple of extras on this mixed grill, such as peas and tomato. I've also got a bit of the mushroom on here too. Let's try it. Really tasty. It's juicy as you bite into it. The texture has a good chew as well, and it's full of mushroom flavour. A good mushroom. Right, I think it's time for some combo bites. I have to do one for each meat. The first one is sausage, egg, and tomato. Here it goes. Delicious. But this one for sure is gonna be better. The rotisserie chicken, mushroom, and chip. Let's do it. Amazing. And now for a classic bite. Gammon, egg, and chips. The thick bit of gammon here really does make the difference. Fantastic! A steak combo is one of my favourites. So on this one, I've got the steak, chip, onion ring, and tomato. Incredible! I may as well do one with the black pudding while I'm at it. So this one is black pudding, egg, and chip. Nice! There is a combo though that I might have missed, a bite with the salad, as after all you do get all you can eat salad with this meal. Delicious! The salad just adds a bit of freshness to cut through the meats, making you ready for the next bite, so it goes great with this meal. Overall I enjoyed it, you do get a lot of items but I think I would have preferred an extra egg and a couple more onion rings to really make it great value. So that was a nice mixed grill in there. The chicken was surprisingly delicious. So the total cost of that meal was 22 pounds and 48 pence. Let's move on next to Chef and Brewer.
So if you're not familiar with Chef and Brewer, they are a nationwide pub chain with over 100 locations around the UK. The one I'm visiting today is called The White House. Let's head in. The inside is a really nice cozy place to be. The decor has a chic modern look to it. The combinations of the colours, furniture and exposed brick and wood make it feel nice and homely. And that's only helped by having an open fire giving you a nice warming heat whilst you enjoy your meal. The menu is a decent size with a lot of the usual pub classics plus a few more adventurous dishes thrown into the mix such as Korean chicken and Mediterranean medley. The one I'm going for today is the mixed grill. Plus a cup of tea which comes with a cookie which I think I'm going to save until the end as a bit of a dessert. One thing that is a bit unusual is that the milk is frothy just like how you get with a coffee. So let's make a cup and see what it's like. Pretty good. Right, so here is the Chef and Brewer Mixed Grill and it's a nice looking plate of food. Let's have a closer look at exactly what you get. You get a rump steak, grilled chicken breast, big piece of gammon, fried egg, a portion of chips, a sausage, some leafy greens and a grilled tomato. Let's dig in. I'm going to start off with the chips, which some are really long like this one I've got here. You get a decent portion and they have a good golden colour. Let's try them out. Very nice. The outside is crispy, a lot more crispy than at most places. It gives a good crunch as you bite into it. The inside is soft and fluffy with a subtle potato flavour. These are good chips. Let's move on to the egg next. The yolk is perfectly runny and just oozes out onto the plate. It's just asking to have a chip dipped into it. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. Let's give it a taste. Delicious. The crispy friedness of the chip really does go well with the creamy yolk. Up next is the grilled tomato and a really big one at that. You've got the charring on the outside. I've cut off a piece of it here. Let's see what it's like. Very good. You get the flavour of the charring from the outside which almost gives it a bit of a crispy skin. The inside is soft and really juicy, full of tomato flavour. It's been cooked perfectly. Right, I think it's time to try out the meats. I'm going to start off with the sausage. Now this is a hefty sausage. It may not look that big in size, but it's really heavy. So I'm guessing there's a lot of meat content in there. It's pretty good. There's a bit of a snap to the outside as you bite into it. You get the grill charring flavour too. The inside is a bit of a strange texture. I expected it to be meaty, but instead the texture is really fine and maybe a bit mushy. It has a good flavour though. Let's move on to the chicken. So it's a grilled chicken breast you get here rather than the quarter rotisserie chicken at Harvester. I've got a little piece of it, let's eat it. Very nice. Again you get that nice charring flavour from the outside. It has a good bite to it. It's not dry at all. It's really soft and succulent with a nice chicken flavour. Next up is the gammon and you get a massive piece of it too. 8 ounce it says on the menu which is the biggest piece of gammon I've had on a mixed grill. Let's see what it tastes like. Delicious. 
I've never seen a piece of gammon this big and thick before. You have the grill marks all along it. It's got a good meaty chew and porky flavour with just the right amount of saltiness. I like it. Okay, I think it's time for the steak. It's a four ounce rump steak, which I asked to be cooked medium. It looks more on the well done side to me. Medium should be a bit more pink in the middle. Anyways, let's see how it tastes. Very nice. The one thing I can say about this place is the charring flavor of the meats is stronger here than at any other place. You can tell it's fresh from the grill. The steak is soft with a little bit more of a chew than I would like as it's well done rather than medium, but it's got good beefy flavor. Right, it's combo bite time. The first one is the hefty dense sausage, egg and chips. Here it goes. Delicious. Next up is the chicken, chip and tomato. The juiciness of the tomato is really going to bring the bite together. Let's do it. Amazing. Moving on we've got that massive gammon which is really thick and meaty with the egg and chip. This is going to be good. Fantastic. And now for the steak combo. I've matched it up with a chip and tomato. Here it goes. Delicious. It's a good mixed grill they do here. Maybe not as many items as other places, but the items they do have are done really well. There is just one thing left to do. Finish off the meal with the cookie I saved from earlier on. Very nice. What a great mixed grill that was. The gammon was delicious. So the total cost of that mixed grill was £23.19. So which was the better meal? Comment down below which one you preferred. For me, it's a bit of a tough decision. Harvester was definitely better value with access to the salad bar. But here at Chef and Brewer, you did get a bigger piece of gammon. In fact, double the size of the Harvester one. So it made up for having less items, such as the onion rings and black pudding. I think I'm going to have to give it to Chef and Brewer. I think I prefer having a bigger piece of gammon as opposed to the extra onion rings and black pudding. So they take it for me. But comment down below your thoughts. Okay, if you like this video, click on the thumbs up icon below and click on subscribe to come along for the next food journey and I'll see you in the next one.